module 5 the next topic is graph based clustering this graph based clustering algorithm it uses a number of key properties and characteristics of graphs so the following some of uh, the key approaches used by uh, the particular algorithm so first one uh, specify the proximity of graph to keep only the connections of an object okay so respect to this graph theory it can provide more detailed information about the inner structure of the data set in terms of clicks and it defines the similarity measures between two objects based on the number of nearest neighbors that they share okay so that is what the subset of nodes where each pair of element is connected so cluster is nothing but highly connected cluster, uh, groups of nodes and centrality is important nodes and hubs so outliers are unimportant nodes so based on these only the performance the activities that we are going to perform over here <coughs> so define the similarity measures between two objects it based on the number of nearest neighbors that they share so even core objects and build clusters around them so now like again the core and whatever the previous concepts that we discussed that will come to the uh, picture of picture over here so and uh, uh, with respect to this uh, use the information in the proximity graph to provide more sophisticated evaluation of whether two clusters should be merged or not so here the classification uh, classified into following uh, one is MST, uh, another one is opossum and chameleon and jarby and SSN densities. So each and every one like will discuss what 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 it will do, how it is going to play a role. So the ideal process of clustering using specification. So the specification is a proximity graph. It should be regarded the initial step before the use of the actual clustering algorithm. Uh, these are like uh, give graph, ba uh, graph based clustering algorithm and first one like what we have MST MST is a minimum spanning tree MST is minimum spanning tree so this minimum spanning tree with respect to the graph is a um, subgroup that has a cycles uh, no cycles and contain all the nodes of the graph and it has the minimum total edge weight of all possible spanning tree so this MST can be viewed as a cl uh, clustering algorithm based on the specification of uh, the particular graph and here uh, this MST clustering algorithm um, uh, like it will compare with the minimum spanning tree for uh, dissimilarity graph so that is the first step and next one is uh, it will repeat the step and it will create a new cluster by breaking the link corresponding to the largest dissimilarity so until only the singleton cluster remains and next one next classification we have opossum so this opossum is nothing but o for optical partitioning of spare similarity using metis so this opossum is a clustering technique uh, that was uh, specifically designed for clustering spare with high dimensional data such as document or market basket data list MST so it perform clustering based on uh, specification of a proximity graph and this uh, opposium clustering algorithm uh, first it will compare sparified similarity graph and partition the similarity graph into k distinct compa um, comparisons using metis the strength and weakness is it is simple and fast so it's a party uh, it, it will partition the data into uh, equally sized cluster with roughly equally sized cluster with depend on the goal of clustering which can be viewed as advantage or disadvantage because they are constrained mm -hmm. to be roughly equal sized and third one is the chameleon so this chameleon is nothing but a hierarchical clustering uh, with a uh, dynamic marketing 
so uh, this uh, um, like previously we discussed algorithmative clustering algorithm so it contains the initial partition of the data using a effective graph so initial partition of data that we are uh, using over here for the effective um, utilization of the data or the partition of the algorithm so this algorithm works in two phase in first phase use a graph partition algorithm to cluster objects into a large number of relatively small cluster set of clusters in the second phase is use algorithmic hierarchical clustering algorithm to find a genuine cluster of repeating uh, combining sub clusters okay so based on that it is going to perform the task and cam uh, this camelian algorithm will uh, perform in such a case and the strength uh, strength and limitations or uh, can effectively cluster spatial data even though noise and outliers are present in the clusters or of different shape size and density and it has a problem when the partition process does not produce some clusters so as it is often the case of high dimensional data and next one is a jarvi patrick clustering so here the threshold will be will be fixing some threshold the algorithm initially like re replaces the proximity between the two points with the sn and similarity the threshold is that used to uh, sparify the matrix of SSN similarities and initially the clusters are simply connected components of SS, SNN graph and it compare the SNN similarity graph the first step it will perform the task and the second one it sparify SNN similarity graph by applying a similarity threshold and finally it find the connected components that with respect to the clusters the specify SNN similarity graph so it will be uh, according to these activities it will perform the strength and limitation of this is it based on the notation of SNN similarity and it is good at dealing with the outliers and can handle clusters of different size shape and density densities so Jarvi Patrick that will call it uh, short form call it as a JP so this, this JP clustering works well for high dimensional data but somewhat uh, brittle that is it may split two clusters or join clusters that should be kept separate and potential limitation is that not all objects are clustered and last one is SNN density cluster this algorithm is a similar uh, while like a clustering algorithm in that which stands SNN situation graph uh, initiated of using uh, it is initiated uh, where the threshold to specify SNN similarity graph and this SNN density based uh, clustering algorithm it applies DB scan so initially like this algorithm it will work while uh, compare the SNN similarity graph and apply uh, DB scan with the specified parameters so this algorithm uh, automatically determine the number of clusters in the data so note that all the data points are clustered so strength of this is the limitation of the density based clustering or similar to that of the JP clustering and the use of the core points and uh, SS, SNN density are considered uh, which is flexible to SNN density based clustering and here it is a collection of a wide range of very popular and clustering algorithms which are based on graph theory and organize the information in large data set to facilitate users for faster access to the care information so the idea behind is the objects are represented as nodes in a complete or connected graph and assign a weight to each branch between the two nodes x and y the weight is defined by the distance uh, between the nodes so the clustering distance between cluster distance between the objects and the minimal spanning tree a minimal spanning tree of a connector graph is vertices and edges so which is connected subgraph with the minimal weight that contain all nodes of g and has no cycles so next uh, topic will be discussing the clustering evaluation in the next video